gurgly, isn't it? Big little thing. Well, this looks serious. Uh, have a seat, pal. No, I don't want to interrupt the arm wrestling here. <laughs> we have something to tell you. I already know. How? I have my sources. Congratulations. So you've decided to live in sin, huh? It's about time. When did you decide? Well, pretty recently. Uh, but don't look at me. I mean, I was ready the moment I took a look at her. Think we'll make a good couple? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm glad for both of you, especially you. Why's Why that? that? Well, you got the best part of the deal. <laughs> hey, listen, why don't I just leave the table, and then the two of you can insult me all you like. Oh, no, no, don't do that, man. It's no fun unless we can insult you to your face. Oh, well, in that case, hold on to it for a while, because I'm going to be gone a few minutes. I have to call my daughter and let her know that we're going to go down tomorrow. She doesn't know yet? Well, I didn't want her to think about it you know, too much. Oh, great. Only kidding. Ooh. Oh, come on, relax. You're acting like we're going to have an audience with the Pope. Uh, if you want to make that phone call from my office, it's quieter in there. Okay, I'll take you up on that. Right. Mm -hmm. So, taking a big step, huh? We're not getting married. Close enough. What made you decide to do that? The way he stood by me when all that stuff came out in the papers about my past. I thought for sure he'd be gone, but in the end, he was right there. Yeah, he's a good guy. He better be great to you or I'll kill him. I can take care of myself. I know you can. I just don't want you to get hurt. I don't think there's much chance of that now. The one thing that I was really worried about was the way he'd react when he found out about all that. But we don't have any secrets and everything's out front and there's nowhere to go but up, right? That's right. You just keep climbing. Ah, oh, my baby. Before you... I couldn't get a hold of her. I'll give her a call later. Well, like I said, you enjoy the flight, and I hope you never come down. See you later. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Natalie, what the hell have you been up to? I've been trying to call you for half an hour. I could care less about your responsibility to your patients, your primary... Forget it. Just forget it. I need you to get down here as fast as you can. Well, I need your help. We've got ourselves a little problem. Good to see you. I, uh, I guess you heard the news. I did. Congratulations. You'll make a fine campaign manager. Thanks. There's one thing I'm wondering about, Phil. What's that? Does this mean you won't vote for me? Hey, listen, man. Somebody's got to vote for me. <laughs> you mean besides Gail? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I hope you don't take this personally. Politics, Brian, it's just politics. Listen, if your stand with gambling was different, there would be no way I would work against you. But I cannot support anything that's addictive. You understand? I do. And it's no problem. You know, going against you like this, I kind of feel like a traitor. Well, I guess so. But I understand. You sure? I understand. I hate your guts for it, but I understand. Friends. Always, Brian. Good, I feel better. Well, I don't. With you on his side, I'm going to have to work twice as hard for some votes. Get out of here, man. You'll do fine. Besides, I'm not here to campaign. Good. I'm here to look for my wife. Have you seen her? Oh, yeah. Uh, Claudia, I, I, she was in the bar a little while ago. Thanks. And for understanding, too. You got it. 